What's cracking with your snack and snacker stars? It's me, me, the BRE, the man in the backwards hat, Brandon from the SAS, the Snack Food Appreciation Society, here with Snack Priest, and I'm also here with Heel Wimone. Snack Tom Palette and our friends at Hostess have done it again. They're teaming up with Walmart with exclusive craziness here, and it's all about Twinkies all again. That's right. You know, th this particular Hostess has been thinking outside the box compared to the old regime. Yes. They've been coming out with all kinds of crazy stuff. And they have decided to take a cue from the uh, carnies across the, t the United States and the world who started, for some reason, deep frying Twinkies at some point. Uh, I've even reviewed a deep fried Twinkie uh, in one of the fair, fair editions of OTR. There you go. It's a delicacy, man. It's really good. <laughs> you really should try one if you get a chance. Well, they have replicated this in frozen form for your freezer aisle and for your freezer at home. You can cook them in the microwave, you can deep fry them, or you can do what we do, put them in the oven. You got deep fried chocolate and deep fried original Twinkies. There you go. How much were these things? These things were, I got the darn price tag right here when I found them today. These ran Four seventy-six each, wow. but you get seven in a box. Not bad. So it's a pretty big portion that you're getting. You heat the oven to three fifty, which is what we did. It says to go for six to eight minutes with them. The key is not to dry out the insides. They have a big warning on here about if the insides all dried out, and you got no cream. That means you cooked them too long. That means you done messed up. Yeah. So we got, like I said, both chocolate and we got the original. Bye bye. And I think they might be right about done. There we go. Let's see how these are. Fresh out of the oven from Terminator Tony T. Thank you very much. Look at Catch that. Catchphrase. Yeah. <laughs> Taking a look at these bad boys there on the plate. Uh, you put them in for six? Yep. Six minutes at 350 yep. or whatever. Made sure we were good and preheated, so I figured let's not overshoot it. I'd rather be they be more creamery than, you know, all dried out, but they're mm. they smell pretty good, is the first thing. I'm definitely getting a scent of that carnival action, man. That yeah. smells good. Let's see here. Maybe to break one open, get a look inside first. I the first think you thing. might want to do that. Let's yeah, yeah, give me, a knife, give me a knife there. Let's let's check that out. Let's go with that. Thank you, sir, Mr. Catchphrase. Let's go, let's go classic first. Right down the oh, cuts easy. Yeah, really soft. Oh, yeah, check that out. Check that out right there. Nice and creamy and gooey on yeah. the inside. They're nice and toasty warm. So far, nothing. We definitely do not have dried out cream in there. They don't have like a hard shell on the outside, mm -hmm. but you might achieve that by actually using the deep fryer if you want to do that. Right. Uh, I don't think it's going to happen in the oven without you drying out the cream, probably. Yeah, the, the, the balance has to be really darn tricky. Yeah. Let's see here. Hmm. Hmm. They're very, very cake-like. Yep. And not a lot of the breading or the batter on the outside, just a little touch. Yeah. And actually, the cream didn't really warm up here at all. It's Maybe they could have used a little longer in a there. A little bit longer. A hair longer. But I'm kind of liking the cool to warm yeah, difference. That's kind of know? a neat little. Uh, it's not like it's cold. It's just noticeably contrast. cooler. Yeah. See, I think that that's the trick on these is how do you strike that balance of getting them nice and toasty without ruining the inside. Mm. But they don't taste bad. Mm -hmm. Not bad at all. They taste mm. pretty good. But let's hold on to our ratings until we try out this chocolate. Gotta see one. about chocolate. Now apparently this chocolate one is just a regular Twinkie. With a chocolate breading. Yeah, there you see that inside. It is nice. It looks just like the regular one. Just has that chocolate outside going on the deal there. It's actually got a chocolate cream on the inside. You're right, it does. There you go. Otherwise, the cake looks the same. It's just very like... interesting. Okay, let's find out. Mmm. These right here. Mm. I'm liking this a little more. I'm liking the contrast. Mm -hmm. I'm liking that chocolate outside. You get it first when you first bite in. Then you get the Twinkie cake in the center. Then you get the cream. It's yeah. like three different flavors. The other one, you only get two. Yep, I agree. Definitely more contrasted flavors and more stuff to sort of play around with in your mouth there and sort of come up mm. with a good combination of flavor. Very cakey. And then the outside of this one did get a little more turgid mm -hmm. than what you got on the uh, outside <laughs> of that one. 
And uh, yeah, flavor's good. I dig Turgid it. is a good word. And the big thing on these I'm also liking is the chocolate deal going. Yeah. Is you can do a lot with this as a dessert. The yes, box came popping open there, but man, you put some chocolate sauce on this. Whipped cream. There you go. You This could be the base for an amazing type of ice cream sundae deal. Yeah, they're showing you with all kind of stuff on the back here, like some fruits and some sprinkles and some jimmies and whatnot. Yeah, now of the two, if you're asking me personally, the chocolate are the winner. These aren't bad, but these are the winner. These right here, I'll give these a full thumbs up. I'm digging these. Mm -hmm. These are a close second. I'll go three quarters on those. Surprisingly, they pulled this off a lot better than I expected. I was thinking these could be a complete fail. Hostess, you did all right here. While the chocolate is more complex, mm. has more of a contrast in flavors and in textures, I actually would see myself going back to the regular one more often just because mm. it's a more mild flavor. It's a more kind of relaxing thing to eat out <laughs> A relaxing Twinkie. <laughs> yeah, this other one, your mouth has to think about it a little bit more. So in that aspect, I would say I would give the regular one here a seven eighths and I'd give this one a three quarters. So oh, okay. They're, they're, they're good either way, but we're being opposites. Yeah. That's all good to each their own. It can be discussed in the YouTube comments because everyone's going to be wanting to try these. Walmart has the exclusive on for the next three months. So get in there and check them out just like Terminator Tony T is doing right here with the double whammy, one of each, baby. Or you can eat them both at the same time. Maybe they'll taste even better <laughs> that way. I'm not really sure. But uh, you can also check out our SAS group on Facebook where we had folks uh, you know, suggesting that we try these out. You could also suggest what we're going to try out next as well. Also, follow us on the Twitter and the Instagrams at Brandon Reich SAS and at Heal Wimoni. Yes, indeed. Take those handles down below. If there's something new on the Snack and Horizon you want us to try, let us know on all the social media. Use hashtag Snack Society all day, every day. Let us know what you think of these Twinkies. We want your two cents and your feelings on the hot new snacks in the world. And when you do, you join that Four Horsemen of YouTube, baby. Like it, favorite it, share it, and subscribe to it. And in the meantime, in between time, we'll see you next time, Twinkies. Bye-bye. Cafe!